With my 4.0, the way that I have it, so basically I, I normally run the pyro drone stack. Um, but with these settings, I have it, these are my three main quads. I generally run a uh, high KV, squish X frame, uh, and then the rest can vary. I don't care too much about the components. So this one is a Hollybro stack with the ICM gyro. This one is my pyro drone stack with the MPU 6000. And this reverb has the Radix Bosch Gyro. So the settings that I'm using work excellent on all three of these. And that was kind of the goal is to have repeatability through all my quads because I'm constantly rebuilding things. And um, I'm constantly changing components. So that was a must for me. Uh, let's just dive into it. This is when it gets really boring, so run. Here we go, beta flight 4.0 settings. By demand, here they are. I'm just gonna go over it real quick. I'm not gonna spend time. If you wanna pause it, go ahead and pause it. So this one's D-Shot 1200. I normally have it on 600. I think it's less jittery, but that's just me. AK 8K or AK 4K, either one is fine. Um, here's the goods. So basically, let's start with it. I'll go from what I think is a big change. So y'all P. They brought the y'all P down from 65 to 40. That was a big change. I remember in the 3.5 tuning notes, they used to tell you to drop the P and raise the I to like 140. But when you would do that, it wouldn't really work very well. So they finally, uh, you know, hammered out the details with that and made it work good. So that's how I have it. Um, I bump up my D's a bit. Feed forward, I bring down. I, well, this is the defaults now, except for y'all zero. But I used to have, I think, 100, 100, 120, but it just feels like it's too much on this one. So I bring it down with smart feed forward on. I don't really know what that does, but it feels good. Um, I turn relax, roll and pitch, gyro. The reason I keep it on gyro instead of set point is because I kind of like the softness that it adds uh, when it's on set point I know you can change the cutoff and stuff like that but I, I just feel like sometimes when I'm giving a very fast stick input I don't necessarily want a lot of high term relax or you know it just feels better it feels softer with uh, on gyro I increased uh, D min roll and pitch I think I increased the gain too I was having some problems, it felt like it was uh, mid throttle oscillations from too much P when cruising, so I, I bumped these up and I took care of that. Um, little RC Expo, I've always had that, pretty slow rates, uh, the filters are where it's really at. I've done the opposite of what most people would do for performance and instead of lessening the amount of filters, I've increased the amount of filters. LPF2 at 150 and D-Term Low Pass 2 200. I have increased the amount of filtering by 20. I think the default is 150 here. And change it to bi-quad. So over here I've also changed it to bi-quad from PC1. And this just helps keep everything juicy. It, you know, no mid-throttle oscillations. I feel like it definitely helped. This was one of the biggest things that when I came to 4.0 and I felt like it was unpliable, it was because of the filtering. It was just really odd feeling to me and doing this coupled with the feed forward settings fixed all those problems that I had. Um, let's see. So transition point three, I used to have this at uh, zero, but again it felt weird coming into 4.0 so I, w I was at point 8 I thought I had fixed it but then it gave me a lot of other problems so point 3 is the happy medium I think this might even be defaults for 4.0 but I'm not sure uh, anti-gravity of 5.5 little bit of expo because I'm got some high KV motors got that smooth bottom um, receiver basic Filtering, a little bit of dead band here and here. That's about it. Yeah, that's it. So the only other things that I have would be in a VL Heli. 